Hey everyone, Joe Williams here from Blue Dog Wire Strippers, and today I wanted to talk to you about why a single blade design machine is not the most efficient way for processing Romex cable. Now a lot of my competitors out there are selling single blade design machines, and they're going to tell you that's the best system for processing Romex cable. I'm here to tell you that's not exactly true. Now on a single blade design machine, when it comes to Romex, there's a lot of adjusting you need to make of the blade here, up and down for the various thicknesses of the Romex wire. And one of the other limitations is that the Romex cable has to be perfectly straight to go through a single blade design machine. So let me actually demonstrate why a single blade design machine is not the most efficient way of processing Romex cable. So this is a real-time demonstration showing you how to process Romex cable with a single blade design machine. So it's important to note that all single blade design machines out there are basically the same concept. You have a bottom feed wheel which is motorized and the blade that you lower and raise for every different thickness of wire. So right now I'm going to process 14.2 Romex cable uh, in real time with our BWS60 wire stripping machine and you can see why we suggest this is not the most efficient way for processing Romex cable. So the first thing we're going to want to do is adjust the blade height over here to make sure that it is the suitable height for cutting the outside coating of the Romex wire. So the first thing we're going to do is put it in the bottom feed wheel and we want to lower down the blade just a little bit to, until we're actually touching the outside coating of the Romex. So I think that's okay. I'm going to turn on the machine and run it through and see what happens. All right, so that was one pass through the machine and it looks pretty decent, but you could tell that the blade was actually skipping out from uh, the wire and it wasn't doing an efficient cut like our other machines such as our BWS50 Multi-Feed, our BWS50 SAR or our BWS80. So once again this is a single blade design machine and what we have to do is actually lower the blade just a bit more to make sure that we're set at the right height for processing Romex cable. Now once again it's important to note all single blade design machines are going to be the same uh, issue when processing Romex cable. Doesn't matter what contraption they have on the front in order to feed it through, it's all going to be the same. So again, this is the second pass for just removing the outside coating of 14.2 Romex. Okay, so that slipped out again. Let me put it down a little bit more and we're gonna try third pass before we even get the outside coating off of 14.2 Romex. Okay, so that was I believe three passes through the machine for us to get the outside coating off. Now here's where the limitation of a single blade design machine really comes into play. So we have successfully stripped off the outside coating and we have three strands underneath, ground is already taken care of. Now here's where the problem runs in. We have 14 gauge right here, and now we need to run through the 14 gauge underneath the blade. The blade was set up for doing the outside coating of the Romex, and now we actually have to process the inside strands, which means we need to readjust the blade height in order to do it. So I'm gonna dial the blade down, and now we're gonna run through 14 through. Oh, let me try that again. I'm going to use this hole to see if we get it any easier. Oh, look, a little bit easier doing that hole. And I'm going to do this one. <clears throat> so that was 14.2. Romex. As you can see, the blade did jump uh, across on some of the insulation here and it did not get a uniform cut going down because it was slipping under the blade. Now, 
Again, it's important to stress, all single blade design machines have the same limitation out there because the bottom feed wheel is so wide, um, doing 14 gauge thickness and stuff like that is definitely not the most efficient way to go when trying to process uh, thin gauge wire on a single blade design machine. So I'm still trying to pull off this coating here. Here we are, 14 gauge. Okay, that one came off pretty decent. So that was 14T Romex going on a single blade design machine right here. If you're looking at processing Romex cable, I would not recommend going with a single blade design machine such as the BWS60. Now this machine's okay if you go with quarter inch and above, great machine. But if you're going with Romex cable, you're going to have a lot of adjusting of the blade up and down. And if, unless the Romex is perfectly straight, which you've seen in the video, it's going to wander under the blade. And once again, I'd like to add all single blade machines on the market have the same limitation. And if you are looking seriously for a machine to process Romex cable, I highly recommend going with our BWS50 Multi-Feed, our BWS50 SAR, or our BWS80 HD. Those are all multi-feed machines, which means you put the wire into the right size feed hole. Very simple to use. There's no adjusting, such as on this machine. You just feed it through, and away you go. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Joe Williams, Blue Dog Wire Strippers. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out all our products on bluedogwirestripper.com.